to my channel and welcome back to another day of Listmas. If you're new, super special welcome to you. My name is Alyssa Marie. I'm so happy you're here. Make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos coming up. Today, I'm really excited to share my skincare journey with you in a lot of detail. It has been a journey, but I'm so happy with where I'm at right now. My skin is the best that it's been in a very, very long time and I have developed a regimen, a consistent routine that I know truly works for me. So I'm really, really excited to share it with y'all. I know how adult acne can affect your self-confidence. I have been through it, obviously. I It's just something that you just never wanna have to deal with. So if you are struggling, buckle up, listen up, because I'm about to give you all the real real about everything that I have done to heal my skin and bring it to the condition that we're in today. All right, so since my earlier years of college, which was a long time ago, I started college back in 2012. It was around that time where I started experiencing the worst acne ever. And worse than even what I'm talking about that I experienced last year, I was literally, my face was covered. I'll see if I can dig up any photos. I really didn't even take many photos. And the photos that I did take, I would edit the hell out of them. I'm not even going front. So that's when I was put on a birth control called Diane 35. It is not available in the US. I am from the Cayman Islands, so that's where I had initially got it. That's where I was living at the time. And Diane 35 saved my entire life. As soon as I was on it, after like about a month or two, my skin started clearing up again. And it was great. It was a great run. Um, and I have been on Diane 35 for ever. Y'all know I moved from Cayman to Atlanta right at the top of 2020. So literally right before the pandemic. And like I said, it is not available here in the US. So I made a decision. I thought, okay, why not try a new birth control? I will do that. So in 2020, that entire year, I went through two, I think two different types of birth controls. And how it works is it's not like, okay, you start on the birth control and like in a month you realize like, okay, boom, this is working or not. It's like a three month process at minimum whenever you try a new birth control because it's hormonal, right? So you have to wait for your body to like get used to it and have it really working in your body and all that stuff. I don't know, science. <laughs> And um, yeah, so it was a very, very long, drawn out process. The first birth control I went on gave me headaches and I did get some more acne from that. And so then I switched to another birth control that's available here as well. And that one was good. I feel like I had a really good run on that for a little bit. But then after a while again, I started getting my hormonal acne again. Um, then fast forward to 2021. I was kind of back and forth because I was like, okay, well, let me still try to get my Diane 35 from Cayman, but it was still kind of like weird pandemic time. So I was scared to like put my body back on that and then not be able to access it as you need it because you know, birth control is literally like an everyday thing. Um, so yeah, long story short, it has been two years of trying to figure out birth controls and going on Diane 35 again and then back on another US birth control and being like, no, no, maybe it's fine, maybe it's not, and then back to Diane, it's been crazy. Um, so towards the end of last year, I made the decision, I said, okay, I'm gonna go back to my Diane 35 and I'm just gonna stay on that because that's obviously what worked for me the longest. I will figure out a way to make sure that I have a stockpile of it here so I always have access to it when I need it and boom, bam, we're done. But I don't know if it's because I went through the process of trying so many different birth controls and that's so many different hormones and like blah, 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 blah. My hormonal acne was still there when I started back on Diane 35. So super frustrating and I got to a point where I was like, I don't know what's going on, I need help. And so I sourced an esthetician and that is the first and best decision that I ever made is consulting a professional. So my esthetician who I absolutely love and trust so, so much with my skin is Skin by Lauren here in Atlanta. I will put her details here on the screen but also in the description box below in case you would like to go ahead and check her out. But of course the professionals are gonna know things that you don't know. So when I went to see Lauren, she was able to give me some guidance on my skin. We had lots of conversation about the acne that I was experiencing. And it was very, very interesting because she also gave me some advice on like the type of acne I was experiencing. So typically if you get acne like around here, like your jawline or under your chin, like this bottom area of your face, that type of acne is your typical hormonal acne. It's also the type of acne that's like cystic. So it's under the skin, it's big and it's painful. Sometimes they don't even come to fruition at the top. But I was not only getting those, I was also getting a lot on my cheek. I'm actually gonna come up 
closer here, you guys can see right here some old scars. Oh my god. This side is in so much better because you can't even see any scars. But it was literally both sides of my cheeks right going right up here were a bunch of other bumps that I had gotten as well. So she was saying that not only am I battling hormonal acne, I was also battling something to do with my digestion. Cheek acne has to do with your digestion. There's something off in the gut that is causing you to get acne right, right there. Like that's one of the telltale signs. That was huge for me because I always thought it was just hormonal, hormonal, hormonal. That's really hard to say three times fast. <laughs> But um, to realize that my digestion, like the things that I'm eating and putting in my body could be causing it, that's something that I have control over. So I started to do some research and of course dairy was like the number one thing I found online to be really bad for your hormonal health, but also for your gut health. So that was the first thing that I decided to kind of cut out or limit a little bit. It was also around that time when I started to work out. So. First step was getting my esthetician. The second step was some more lifestyle changes, i.e. limiting dairy and starting to work out on a more consistent basis. I am an ex-athlete, okay? So when I grew up, I was on the national team, played football, everything. Football, by football, I mean soccer, okay? The real football, <laughs> don't come for me. But yeah, growing up, I didn't have to worry about exercising. I didn't know any of that. So now that I, Obviously, I'm not playing football anymore after two knee surgeries and a hip surgery. That is a whole story for another video. <laughs> um, I had to learn for myself how important it is to work out consistently. So this is the first year, 2022, that I have been able to consistently go to the gym and work out. And I'm so proud of myself for that. But George really helps me. He's huge on going to the gym and he started creating plans for me. So when I go to the gym, my workout is already set. I don't have to worry about anything. Like he already got that all organized. And so this year was the actual first year. It's been on my New Year's resolution like for years and years, but 2022 was the first year I was able to actually develop a consistent workout routine that I am so, so proud about. And when I tell you working out has cleared my skin, I'm gonna say it for the people in the back real nice and loud. Working out has absolutely helped me clear my skin. Not necessarily clear my skin. I feel like my esthetician, the treatments, the products, those have helped to clear my skin. The working out, the limiting my dairy, the watching what I'm eating a little bit more, drinking more water, all of that has helped to stop my acne. I'll get a bump here and there once in a blue moon and I'll be like, what, what's going on? It like surprised me. That is how much um, working out has like regulated my body. I will say it did not happen for me right away. So don't think like, okay, I'm gonna work out consistently for a week and let's see how my skin acts up. It was literally consistent working out. I did four days a week. So I do Monday, Tuesday, break Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday, and then I give myself a break on the weekend. Four days a week consistently for a month. And it wasn't until that month was up that I was like, oh, I haven't really gotten any new bumps in the last like week or so. And then month two went by and I'm like, dang, this is really, really working. Even if it's just consistently working out 20 minutes a day, that just balances you out in general. The things it does internally for your body. Of course, we all know physically working out, like you can tone up, look good, whatever. But internally, it just balances you out, your hormones, everything. I also realized that by sweating on a consistent basis that was helping to kind of detox my body, I will say I am not the healthiest eater. I'm not, again, I never had to worry about that when I was younger. Now that I'm getting a little bit older, I do have to be a lot more mindful about the things that I do eat. But having that consistent detox every time I'm working out, I find also helps my body a lot. So working out, absolutely huge. And when I work out, it's just so happens that I just, I'm in a better mood and I feel like, you know what? Let's eat a little bit better. Let's be a little bit more mindful. Honestly, I still don't eat super healthy or as healthy as I probably should. If I'm being real with y'all, because I love food, I am a foodie. Um, but when I did initially start out at the beginning of this year, I was a little bit more strict in terms of dairy. I found a ton of dairy substitutes. Like for example, I was using Greek yogurt for sour cream. I love me Mexican food, so you know. I was using vegan cheese, which I have yet to actually find one that I enjoy. So I, I, I'll be honest there. Um, I drink almond milk on the regular, that's normal for me. And then I also found this really nice pasta sauce, vegan. 
and it's so good. It's really delicious, so I was making lots of pastas with that. I was pretty disciplined, I would say, for that first month to two months when I was consistently working out. I was also eating very, very like minuscule amounts of dairy, if any at all. And I think during that time, I think my body was able to heal, my gut was able to heal because at this point, I kind of eat dairy whenever I want. For the most part, I am a little bit more mindful of what I eat, but if I'm really feeling for some dairy, like I love me some Mexican, I'm gonna order me the Mexican. I think that my gut was able to heal itself to the point where I can have my little bit of dairy here and there or whenever honestly without having to worry about a breakout the next day so really those were the major lifestyle changes that i made that made the biggest difference in my skin and how it was reacting in my entire body honestly i feel like it was a little bit of a healing process for me so i'm seeing my esthetician on a consistent basis i'm working out on a consistent basis at minimum three to four times per week depending on what's going on in my week and then also being more mindful about what i'm putting in my body and also really drinking a lot more water Honestly, I forgot to mention that as well. Typically when I'm working out, that's just something that comes along with it. You end up being more thirsty and you end up drinking more water, which is great for your body and detoxing it as well. And very recently, I've actually been drinking a specific water called Joe V. They sent me their water and I've been obsessed. Like I've been going back to Publix to restock because it's so good. It's alkaline water. You guys can do the research on alkaline water. I am currently still on Diane 35. Ever since I made the final switch to go back to it, I said, mm -mm, that's it. I'm not messing around with any more hormonal birth controls because it's just a lot it's a lot on the body to keep switching and changing things and stuff so i've stayed consistent on my diane 35 and then again with everything else i have just been so happy so of course by getting to the root of my acne now i was left with some acne spots that i needed to get rid of so the great thing about an esthetician is not only do you get access to amazing professional grade treatments but she also gave me a great regimen with amazing products. So let's get into exactly what I'm using on my skin every single day. This is what has worked for me. This is literally what I'm currently using on my skin now and my skin has been popping. So first off, cleansers. It's really important to have cleansers that are nice and hydrating and balanced. These two are my top two favorite cleansers at the moment. The Rose Ingleton MD Superfood Brightening Cleanser and the Smelly Skin Gentle Hydrating Cleansing Gel. Both are the bomb.com. Obviously one is hydrating and one is brightening, so it's perfect to have them both in rotation. I just switch back and forth between the two every single day. Today, I'm going to be using the Gentle Hydrating Cleansing Gel. After cleansing, I always like to reach for an exfoliating product. Exfoliating is super Super important you just got to make sure you're doing it in the right way so that you're not over exfoliating so I actually go in with these complexion renewal pads by Zoe skin health every single day such a good like balanced product that gets the job done but also does not leave my skin feeling super dry or anything Zoe skin health is the skincare brand that Lauren has put me on my esthetician so these products they are more pricey but they have changed my skin in ways that is like act has changed my life about once or twice a week i'll also grab this exfoliating polish by zoe skin health just for like a deeper scrub like extra exfoliation for my skin my skin feels literally amazing like super super soft and smooth after using it so then after exfoliating i like to go in with my serums this is the daily power defense by zoe skin health again it's kind of like a serum and moisturizer in one it's so so good for the moisture your barrier in your skin it feels amazing and it's just this is the product that keeps my skin happy and healthy it is a powerhouse staple product for me that i will never go without i also rotate between two other serums in addition to the daily power defense so i'll either go in with this brighter life skin brightener by zo skin health or the hyper hyper even brightening dark spot vitamin c serum both of these absolutely amazing at keeping your skin nice and even i have to always have a brightener or vitamin c somewhere in my skincare regimen absolutely necessary and these two are my top faves at the moment so then of course after serums we got to get into moisturizer now moisturizers for me get rotated very very often for me i prefer to spend the big bucks on the serums these complexion pads the exfoliators and stuff so then for moisturizer i just use anything really drugstore sephora ulta whatever i have honestly that is nice and moisturizing in the daytime i tend to go for something a little bit more lightweight and then in the nighttime of course during the colder winter months as well i like to go in for something a little bit more rich Right now, I have been loving the Body Shop skincare products. They sent me their Edelweiss collection. So love this day cream. That's what I'm applying right now. Feels so, so great on my skin. 
And then usually for nighttime, I'll rotate to this Laura Jones Acid Mantle Repair Moisturizer, which is oh, oh so amazing as well. Right now, while it's a little colder outside, I have also really been enjoying this Bouncy Jelly Mist, also by The Body Shop in their Edel Weiss collection. It's so good. The thing that I really like about it is that it offers blue light protection. So when I'm, I am constantly on either my phone, my computer, or watching TV, my skin always has constant access to blue light. So I really love that it offers that level of lightweight protection while making my skin really nice and moisturized and glowy at the same time. And then last, but certainly not least, of course I couldn't talk about a skincare regimen without mentioning sunscreen. Sunscreen is something that is Super, super important for me. This mineral sunscreen by Murad is still one of my top faves. SPF 50 got you covered, and it's something that I reach for or rotate with some other SPFs that I have every single day. So yeah, that's my entire regimen. These are the products that I'm literally using on a daily and nightly basis. Keep the skin nice, healthy, popping, and clear, honey. I'm so, so proud, honestly, of how far my skin has come. When it comes to like makeup and all that stuff as well, I really and truly prefer to spend all of my money on skincare, on treatments, all of that to me is way more worth it than spending it on full coverage foundations and all this other stuff that aren't really tackling the problem. Like your makeup is only ever gonna look as good as your skin looks underneath. Um, and I just, and not only that, like beauty stuff aside, like just feeling like my skin is just normal where it's supposed to be at right now. There's no massive issues that I have with it. I am just so happy and so thankful because dealing with acne as an adult really and truly can be so hard. It got to a point for me where it's feeling like a constant battle with my body and that never ever feels good. So I'm really excited to be able to share like the nitty gritty details of the entire process, the entire journey that I went through to kind of clear my skin and really heal my body. If you are thinking about actually making some of these lifestyle changes, just know that while it may be more difficult in the beginning, it does get easier as you go on. So that's the good news, okay? If you have any additional questions for me, as always, go ahead and drop them in the comments below and we can get to chatting there. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I will catch y'all tomorrow for another day of Listmas. Bye.